Hey guys, it's Christopher, and welcome to another Solaris tutorial. In this video, I'm going to explain how to make nice platforms um, like this one, but we want the hero to be able to go from the higher part to the lower part of a room with... Uh, you know how to do it with jumpers, we will see how to do it with stairs, and we will also see how to make platforms um, like floating platforms, I mean the ones uh, where the hero can go either above or under the platform. Okay, so we will start with this room, but we will change it a little bit, like that maybe. Um, I want to reduce this. Okay, and, and by the way, I need this um, fence here because otherwise if the jumper is like this, the hero will end up in the wall here. So at least we need, we need uh, something to block like that. Okay. And I want to reduce my small platform here okay so we still have um, this wall here and the jumper will be oops, here okay And the the room, will, the lower part of the room will continue like this in in this L shape. And we will do this here. Okay. So we don't have that. And finally, I want this wall. Ah, okay, so I went wrong here. Okay. And where is the last corner? Yes, okay. Copy paste. And this last part here is this one. So when you have a reverse corner like this, um, both tiles here always overlap a bit. And it's also true here. That's normal in, in my tile sets at least. Okay, so let's keep the jumper. And maybe another one here to the right. But we absolutely want these fences here. Okay, so nothing new <laughs> for now if you watched the previous tutorial, but um, we can now add some stairs. Okay, so stairs are made of these six tiles here. So actually the jumper will be oops, just like this, and maybe we can continue the fence like that. Okay, so um these three ones are in the lower layer always so these ones are walls and this this one is traversable and same thing for these ones on the higher layer they are both of these are walls and this one can be traversed okay so for now um so they are really just regular ties so nothing nothing special will happen Except that I fell in on, on the lower layer, okay? Because when I was I was starting on the higher layer, I walked here. This is traversable, so I ended up uh, here. Uh, and this is empty ground because there is no tile at all. And when 
there is empty ground you fall to the next layer so I ended up here and then there is no way to get back because this is just a wall after the, the stair tile so uh, we, we need some kind of event here and it will be this dynamic entity stairs so if you watched the tutorial about stair state transportation uh, you know how to make um, this kind of stairs to go from one map to another one that would be on another floor but you can also use the same stairs entity for these stairs that go that don't change the map but they don't go to another map but they go to a platform in the same map so they are called platform stairs here and their direction should be um, the direction where they go upwards which means in this case down <laughs> south okay like that and that's it and they should be placed on the lower of both layers okay and you have the same animation as in Zelda Link to the Past so just put them here in the in the middle in the center of the stairs um, so yeah they really work like th the um, teletransportation stairs that we saw in in one of the first tutorials they just um, make some a link to the past looking animation so if you don't want uh, the link to the past animation you there are other ways to ch make the hero change layers uh, and we will see that in, in a future tutorial but the idea is to use sensors here and to make a, a very simple script that makes the hero go to another layer Okay, but for now let's keep the a link to the past stairs because it's easier. And yeah, so um, I also promised to show you <laughs> um, floating platforms because this one is nice, but you the hero cannot go under the platform. So I will make something more here. Maybe a platform like this and I don't know and like this yeah okay so borders first So how do we want to do that? Maybe... I don't know, maybe like this. And some stairs. Boom. Okay. Actually, I want more space here. Stairs here. Okay, and don't forget to always check the layers when you make this kind of map to verify that all your ties went on the expected layers. By default they do because uh, these ones are by default on the lower layer, on the layer 0, and these ones on layer 1, and even these ones on layer 2, but there are a lot of tiles that could go either way, so um, if you take, for example, this one, I don't know, and you put it here, well, by default, it was on layer 1, so probably not what you expected. Um, but um, this tile set could actually be fixed, because now tiles that, that go on layer 0 
by default if you try to put them like here um, they will automatically get to, uh, stay on on actually layer one but uh, okay that's uh, just a detail don't hesitate to improve the tile set if you feel like um, something could be easier by changing default layers for example uh, okay so let's try this but I forgot to put my stairs entity direction up this time okay so it works and uh, yeah so you now have this platform, this floating platform. Maybe it's a bit big because th we can't really see, see the hero at all. So um, you can be uh, uh, sadistic like me and put some uh, put a maze under this platform if you want. But uh, anyway, yeah. So this is how you make platforms where the hero can go. E either above or below. You can I even have doors um, on both le on both levels. And I just fell, so let me explain how this works. I didn't put any jumpers here yet, but I really should because this is not natural at all. The hero is uh, just have just has a few pixels left on on this tile and is above uh, empty ground here and it's only when he's entirely on empty ground on empty ground that he uh, falls so that's really strange especially in the corner here that's why you want to use jumpers also for this case direction left but this time you don't want to go 40 pixels, but only 16, the size of the hero. Okay. And same thing here. Okay. So, okay, we jump. And this is a bit strange in the corner here because the engine refuses to jump at, uh, from this exact place because the hero would still be with a few pixels um, on the platform, so it's not working. And same thing here. So it looks weird, but there is no other option really. So maybe what you can do is just is just uh, remove one of the jumpers, I don't know, and and put some f uh, some blockers here, some fences. Okay. Wait, did I make something wrong before? No, it was okay. Jumper is outside the platform. Uh, so like this. No, like this, I think. Okay, still a bit weird. <laughs> Maybe I prefer like this. Yeah, it's it's clearer. Okay. So n notice how the jumpers, the jumper automatic automatically takes care of um, putting the hero on the next layer. Okay, and uh, yeah, one more detail. Um, if you remove the displaying of the higher layers, you see that the hero can actually go um, behind the stairs here, which might look a bit strange. You can go here, okay. And you can use your sword, for example, so if 
you don't like the, the hero being so close, um, what you can do is just put some tiles, um, put some walls here with with actually any kind of um, blockers like this, for example. But uh, it went on the higher layer by default, which is, I think, a mistake in the tile set. You, you can fix it in your own if you want, but yes, you can do this since the layer zero will never be visible from, from the user. You can use uh, something that has any graphics but um, is a wall essentially. You can also use the, the wall entity here. Its only purpose purpose is to be an invisible wall and you can configure but that's not really the point. And you can also use a, an invisible tile. <laughs> they do exist in my tile set usually so I never remember if it's this one or this one or this one because one of them is a wall yes and the other one is traversable. Sometimes you need them in some specific situations but uh, of course they are not really easy to use <laughs> because well you don't see them. Uh, and okay I lost it. I don't know if I put one. Okay, so don't use them. Okay, you just saw why. <laughs> just use this one. So this is, this is what I do usually. I put a wall under the, the top part of the stairs. So the hero, the hero cannot go so close. You can still see a few pixels of the sword so if you don't like this you can even put some more more walls but um, okay you understand the idea um, so I think this is all I wanted to say about changing layers using stairs and jumpers about making platforms so this is really easy to make a, a platform um, where the hero can walk either above or under using the system of layers. I think this is much easier than in a lot of other game creation software. So I hope you will enjoy it and I hope you will make very nice dungeons in your games. Um, so yeah. That's it for this video, um, I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time, bye!